All right, so today I'm going to be beefing up these Molly panels so they can hold the Pro Eagle Jack. Uh, what basically has happened is there's some aluminum tabs that connect the lower to the upper. There's three of them across here. Uh, what's happened is over time through vibration, they've fractured. So they're, the tab on the back is completely separated, broken into two. Uh, previously, what I'd done is I'd put in some nut certs down here to strengthen up the lower and a nut cert over here uh, into the bed to strengthen the upper. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be replacing these aluminum tabs, uh, these three aluminum tabs, with stainless steel tabs uh, that Jeremy at 813 Designs provided. And I'm also going to be um, putting nut certs in the bed at these three locations so that I've got three more um, solid mounting locations in the bed. And that should be pretty darn solid and be able to hold this uh, 35 pound mount on the Molly panel, no problem. All right, so you can see what happened here. All three of these aluminum tabs just fractured at the weak point uh, where the uh, hardware went through the hole in the uh, tab. Uh, so that's just a movement and vibration over time. The aluminum just uh, went. So we're gonna replace those with uh, these stainless steel tabs. Previously, I'd just gone uh, with what I had and used some fender washers to uh, hold the, uh, the Pro Eagle jack mount to the Molly panels. I worked with 813 Design and Fabrication to custom make these stainless steel mounting plates to replace my janky fender washer install. So there's one of them roughed in. There's the other one. Um, the ca a carriage bolt um, actually fits perfectly inside the small Molly slot here. The carriage bolt sits right inside there. It actually works quite well. All right, the jack is now supported by five rubber baby buggy bumpers. There's one, there's two just to the right of the tabs, there's three, there's four, and there's five.